All right, so Sporla makes an awesome filter dryer. That I will not deny. However, I think they need to tighten up on the paint job or the metal that they use because to me, these are kind of worse than some of the Emerson and other models that I find. This dryer was factory installed inside of your 2014 unit. I burned it a little bit taking it out. But uh, I could not pinpoint a leak. I couldn't get this thing to bubble inside the unit. York put some right on the back of the liquid service valve in a tight spot at the bottom. Um, so I was just a little bit unsure whether where the leak was, but she's definitely coming right out of that filter tray. Dumped the entire charge. I bet that when this uh, unit was running in heat mode, pressures do get, you know, I wouldn't say high, but a little bit above average, and it probably, this crack would swell and maybe start leaking more. But she's a leaker. But I could not get this thing to bubble. And my leak detector barely went off. Of course, I had about 250 PSI nitrogen and then just whatever remaining Freon it had in the system. It did have about 40 PSI in the system upon arrival, but I could not get that thing to bubble with uh, soap. So, just a quick little update tech tip. Maybe Sporlin will see this. We'll see you all.